So you've been hearing that real estate market here in Canada going crazy and you know a lot of people making millions of dollars through owning a real estate but you know you might be thinking that this is not for you because you're still a new immigrant to Canada came from India or some other country and trust me I was one of them you know I was one of you um, before I bought my first home so in this video I'm going to share you know what kind of fears really stopped me for years of buying owning a real estate and you know instead despite of all those fears why I chose to buy my first home and invest in more real estate rental properties because you know some of the solid benefits that you need to be aware and also I'll be sharing some of the common mistakes that many many people make here in when it comes to buying an investment property or a primary dream home so you can avoid those mistakes and at the end I'll be sharing step-by-step -step process you know how you can become a homeowner sooner than you can think Namaskar, this is Aditya Soma. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you know, I'm a real estate agent and real estate investor here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, where, you know, I buy rental properties for myself, you know, renovate them, rent them out for good families. And also I have a real estate team called Win City Real Estate Team, where we are a group of real estate agents, professionals who are, you know, helping a lot of people like you to make their investment dreams or you know primary home buying dreams come true so if you're interested in more real estate you know learning about investing learning about bird strategy or different things that can help you achieve financial freedom make sure to hit the thumbs up button and then leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so like i mentioned in this video let's talk about some of the common fears that many you know new immigrants coming to canada especially you know these are the fears that i had the number one was like, you know, hey, I don't know anything about real estate. How can I buy my home? Because, you know, back home in India, the homes were totally different. There, the home concept is, you know, first you got to settle down, you got to, you know, make a good amount of money, save them. And then, you know, once you have saved up enough money, then go build a brand new home because, you know, there no one buys resale homes like I just build after you know I have saved a good amount of money until then just rent it out so that's the mindset you know for me coming from India and after coming here like for four or five years I, I did the same thing I was renting because you know I want to save up a lot more money but again I'll share in a bit which is not the right way because of the benefits that real estate gives us and the opportunity that we can own the home pretty early than we think and the other fear was like, you know, hey, I don't have my family and friends. Like, I don't know anyone here who can help me with my home. Because back home, I know everyone. Like, you know, my uncle, my mom, my brothers, you know, everyone um, who own the house, they can help me with all this process or different things. But here, I don't know anyone who can help me with that. And trust me, that's a genuine reason. But I'll be sharing, you know, some tips on how you can avoid that. Yes, you can find a lot of people help you because, you know, here in North America, the coolest thing, not only here, I think everywhere around the world right now with the social media, we can learn everything and we can get the support through some social groups who are, you know, buying primary home. Like if you're looking to buy a first time home buyer, there are a lot of groups first time home buyer groups where they discuss about the challenges they support each other and there are a lot of networking events in local the city wherever you are are looking to buy you can go meet other locals and become friends and there trust me like here people are very very friendly um, especially when in this uh, networking groups you know they try to support each other another one is like you know a biggest fear that I had personally because coming to Canada was the biggest challenge from India because um, I borrowed a lot of money and I had debts so I have to pay off so I don't have money so fear of not having money but you know when I learned how much money do I really need to buy my dream home or buy an investment property that's when I got excited because I didn't know before that what really needed so we'll discuss about that in detail in a second so now despite of you know you might be having the same fears but first to I cannot get rid of your fears just by just saying how oh, go buy one but first you need to know first step is you need to know what are the real benefits of owning a real estate because here is the reasons why I personally you know got in bought my first home and bought uh, more rental homes because you know the number one the coolest thing that I haven't heard back home in India which is leverage 
here you know you can buy a home for as less down payment as possible so pretty much the lowest you can buy is for like five percent down so what i mean by that let me give you an example so if you're looking to buy a home that is worth five hundred thousand dollars there are banks a lot of banks willing to give you mortgage up to 95 percent so that means you just need to come up with five percent down the money that you need for a five hundred thousand dollars property is twenty five thousand dollars one of the biggest reason why i did not buy you know way earlier i waited for like three years after i got my job because i didn't know that i can do that because m my mind was like oh i have to pay five hundred thousand dollars and i didn't had like not even close because you know that's a lot of money to save so again the biggest benefit is that leverage leveraging others people money here the bank's money right bank is giving you that of course you pay every month in terms of mortgage like a loan like a car loan any other loans you pay the home loan and the second thing is you have this home right where you don't have to pay all the expenses from your pocket if you do something you know a unique concept i heard in the beginning that really helped me because you know with the prices going up if I have to pay all my expenses, for example, if I buy a 500,000 home, on an average, I have three to $4,000 expense, like, you know, my mortgage, taxes, insurance, all the things. But if you chose to, you know, buy a house that you have an opportunity to rent to one of the unit, a basement unit, or a duplex or triplex or fourplex. So which means that has like two units or three units or four units, which you can live in one unit, rent out the other units. So someone else, can pay your mortgage down someone else can pay some of your expenses so literally you're having other people help you pay your mortgage down help you pay your expenses so your cost of living goes down so when i heard that wow this is is this really possible and you know on top of it the inflation so i don't want to go too much into this uh, economics and you know talk too deep about that in simple you know how much was a chocolate price 20 years ago when you know you were a kid how much is the price now how much was the price for any um, you know consumer goods that you're using what was the price now what's the price now because it's inflated because a lot of governments like you know every country most of the governments are pumping money into the you know country so now the dollar value or you know the price the money value is going down and you need more money to buy the same you know product that you used to buy years ago so what does that mean house is also another product that's why 20 years ago home price was probably like you know in windsor 50000 30000 20000 in toronto probably 20 years ago 100 200000 you used to get a detached home but now if you want to get a detached home probably it's like 1.5 million in toronto or maybe even 2 million so why because one of the biggest reason is inflation so no one can guarantee the price increase of the home but there is a pretty much a guarantee that over the period inflation is increasing like approximately average market inflation rate increase is five percent that's another good thing to know and in canada especially another benefit of real estate is a lot less supply of homes than the amount of people and with the new government that released, they recently announced that they're going to bring in more people every year, over 400,000 new people, new immigrants who are qualified, you know, who are, you know, professionals, they're coming into the Canada into, you know, now they all need either a place to rent or a place to, you know, buy. So the demand is going up and the supply is not going as much up as it's supposed to because it's not easy to build in Canada you know due to so many other reasons I don't want to go deep into that but just keep in mind if the population keep on increasing like this the prices you know definitely has a good chance for you know growing up again I'm not a professional I'm, I'm not like you know financial advisor or anything I'm just a random guy sharing this information online on a YouTube but you know do your due diligence you know you find all these benefits yourself and make a right financial decision that is good for you and your family don't just base off my 
advice and now coming to the some of the major mistakes right one of the biggest mistake that i have seen many people especially you know my indian friends like that i uh, went to school with and friends you know whom i worked with are doing is you know they look at their colleagues or you know they look at their neighbors or friends oh this guy bought a home for 1.5 million a huge home beautiful and i want to buy the same thing or maybe a better one than that so i can show off my house to my friends hold on don't get into that trap because you and your friend or maybe whoever you are comparing with might not be on the same scale of the financial stability so better you look into your finances you know what can you afford right so when i got my first home i i didn't go buy a like you know a brand new home uh, where you know beautiful in a great neighborhood i bought a home like a, one of the rough house in an average location for a very low price and needed a lot of renovations and have two units i lived in one bedroom unit i rented out the three bedroom unit because i want again i looked at my finances that made sense to me i don't want to have a extra burden in terms of finances so again if you are well off you know you have a solid finances you know from back home or here you have you're making pretty solid income again buying a dream home it's okay because you got to live the life why are you making all this money but again what i'm saying is don't make the mistake of like comparing yourself and another mistake i have seen you know people going for is especially uh, you know in a bigger cities because they live in bigger city and they cannot afford it now they just gave up because you cannot afford because in you know cities like toronto the prices are like 1.5 million 2 million that's like insane amount of mortgage so you don't qualify for the mortgage now you just gave up because right now in this you know in this current uh, generation you have an opportunity if you have to if you really believe in real estate maybe go find a job which will offer you work from home option and go to another smaller cities like windsor you know there are many other cities again look which cities that you like do some research make a list of cities that you love and i have seen you know i have helped personally hundreds of clients you know coming from toronto vancouver because you know they have an option to work from home they would love to live in a nice home where but they don't want to increase their expenses the monthly mortgage payment or taxes so they moved they, they are flexible with their jobs or they if they have to they found a new job here um, that meets their skills and everything and then move down here because all of sudden their expenses went from you know probably monthly 10000 to 5000 3000 so now the, even if their earnings is little less they are still happy because they got the home they love so be flexible to you know make those adjustments especially if you're living in a bigger cities where your affordability is not that much where you need a lot more money whereas if you're coming to smaller towns you need a very less money comparative to the bigger towns so be flexible do more research don't just blindly you know give up and lastly here are the few steps that you need to take to know if you can buy a house maybe in next couple of months so number one is go talk to your bank whoever the bank you are doing with if you or ask your friends or someone in your city find a mortgage agent and ask them you know based on your current situation how much mortgage can you get so get a qualification it's called pre approval for a mortgage so they can tell you by looking at all your income and expenses your family income and your family expenses they'll tell you how much mortgage you would qualify for so that's a step one because then you will know exactly what's your financial situation is and number two whichever the city that you're looking to buy because you know like i said the fears if you look back the biggest fear for me was i don't know anything about real estate i don't know anyone but here once you have the mortgage qualification i would say go find a good real estate agent in whichever the city that you're looking to you know buy your dream home or buy an investment property because real estate agents are the great great resources to help you to you know find people that you need because you know for example here i'm a, me and my team are real estate agents so a lot of people buy in windsor with us because now they get all our contacts because i'm an investor i have a bunch of properties and i know a lot of you know contractors handyman electricians plumbers all the people that you need 
to you know have your home nice and secure you don't have to run around and you know be worried you just give a call to this realtor he will be able to help you because he's going to get some financial benefit out of it so don't negotiate with the realtor saying hey can you give me cash back instead go find a good realtor who has a solid connections who is really good with helping who has a five star reviews on their website you know who has a delivered that serve service because there are only like in my opinion every industry has only 20% of solid people and if you google you'll find those 20% in whichever the city you're looking and if you need more recommendations if any other cities dm me or comment below so i know it's a long video but i you know i really hope many new immigrants like me coming from india can become homeowners sooner than you think so hope or let me not hope let me know how did you like this video in the comments below if you loved it make sure hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you with more videos like this one in other videos until then check out the other videos about different topics and see you later